What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Bayleaf, of all things, courtesy of Crusadia, aka Nathan. Now, Bayleaf is one of the coolest middle evolution starter Pokemon, but also it's a middle evolution starter Pokemon? Like, we have a fully evolved starter over here in Venusaur. Why are we using Bayleaf? Well, we're using Bayleaf because it's a silly little guy, and, well, this one's a silly little girl, actually, and that's about it. It's on a Sun Team because Leaf Guard in the Sun will protect it from all status conditions. It cannot be put to sleep by Spore normally, but if you Terra into Fire you would be vulnerable to Spore, so Leaf Guard will protect you there. It'll protect you from poisons and burns and paralyzes, all that sort of stuff. We've got just a defensive set with Eviolite. It's got Leech Seed to heal back some damage, and, and heal and do some damage at the same time, Helping Hand to boost some power, Protect to get extra Leech Seeds, and Body Slam just for some hacks. Uh, the rest of this is a pretty normal Sun Team. We've got a Groudon that has high horsepower instead of Precipice, so that's great. Uh, we've got a Venusaur that's pure offensive, but it has like Giga Drain instead of like Leaf Storm, which you might see on an offensive one. Assault Vest Raging Bolt Standard. Choice Specs Fluttermane with a lot of coverage moves. Uh, no Moon Blast, which I kind of miss, but Energy Ball and Thunderbolt, maybe those will come in handy. And a Torkoal. Torkoal is just a support Torkoal. It could be good against Trick Room, if they put up Trick Room, but it doesn't have Eruption. Uh, and it's just support, just make sure the sun is up. Anyways, this looks like fun, and also a challenge. I don't know how many wins I'm gonna be able to get with Bayleaf, but the rest of the team maybe can carry it? Or maybe Bayleaf will carry it, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let's get on to it. Alright, uh, okay, we've got Dondozo Tatsugiri with Glamora, Ho-Oh, uh, regular Ursaluna, and Cresselia. Um, not exactly a 2-2-2, two, 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 but they've got some combos there. Uh, what can Bayleaf do? Bayleaf can wall Dondozo? Not really. Uh, it can Leech Seed, unless they're Terra Grass. Bayleaf is definitely a Pokemon I am bringing to this battle. Alright, Bayleaf. Uh, I'm gonna put Bayleaf on lead, and I'm gonna put it with... I mean, if I lead with Groudon, Bayleaf can't be poisoned because of Leaf Guard. So that's actually not a bad idea. Plus, Groudon can threaten Glamora. It can't touch Ho-Oh or Dondozo, really. Uh, but my answer to Dondozo is gonna have to be Bolt and Fluttermane, maybe even Venusaur. Torkoal seems useless, but I need, I need like two of these that can take on Dondozo. Uh, I'm leaning toward Bolt because it's also good into Ho-Oh. And then maybe a second one of these as well, because I'm not bringing Torkoal, so I just have to put one of these on the bench. Uh, in that case, I think I would rather have Venusaur. Venusaur can threaten grass moves and then use, like, Sludge Bomb or Weather Ball if it turns into a grass type. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then, I'm not sure how much Bayleaf is going to do, but we'll see, right? That's the point of using Bayleaf. Bayleaf is probably one of the coolest middles, in my opinion. Oh, that's a cool card. Uh, but yeah, in my opinion, Bayleaf, probably the coolest middle. Uh, War Turtle's pretty cool, too. Uh, that's exactly the lead I expected, but uh, I guess I shouldn't have put Groudon out first. It's ho -Oh. Can't really get hit by a Groudon. Uh, switching into Raging Bolt, though, is probably fine. Uh, as is just going after Glamora, because Venusaur can clear any toxic spikes. Uh, do I want to Terra? Not really. Maybe I just protect Bayleaf, because they'll see it as a threat. Uh, I could double protect just to call out like a Meteor Beam. I could protect and bring in Bolt. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Protect. Bring in Bolt so that I can at least threaten the ho -Oh. A little bit. Uh, especially if I bait out a Terra on Glamora with Groudon here, that would be awesome. So maybe I should have just gone for it, because like, worst case scenario, I get a Terra out, which is actually good for my backline. And we get, presumably, special attack, yeah, there we go. And there's the Terra! Awesome! Love to see it. I could have been bold and gone for like a Fire Punch into Glam- Oh, it's ho -Oh. oh, it's a gr it's Grass ho -Oh. Um, can't leech seed you now, that's kind of annoying. 
And bringing in Raging Bolt doesn't help me too much now either. Uh, they do go for Mortal Spin. Which meant you can't actually burn stuff with uh, Ho-Oh if you poison it, but oh well. That is a little bit annoying to not be on Raging Bolt. Oh, they have Grass Terra Blast! Okay! That's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, is there a way I can get like a Leech Seed up and then... Because like Mortal Spin gets rid of Leech Seed. Which is like... A really annoying right here. Uh, I think I gotta go for a Body Slam into Ho-Oh. And see what I can do about getting rid of that Glamora. Maybe with just a Thunderbolt to start out. They just go for another Mortal Spin, not knowing it's not gonna affect my beautiful Bayleaf here. And another Terra Blast. Predicting a hard swap, maybe? Well, Bolt, you're taking these hits well. Ooh, and a Para, nice. Can we get another Para? No. All right. Well, we tried. Um, I would expect Glamora. Can I just Thunderclap it? I don't need to Thunderclap it. I could Thunderbolt it or something. But like, they're probably gonna try to knock out Raging Bolt. I could bring in Venusaur and save Bolt for a single Thunderclap late game. And just try to take this out with Leaf Seed. Yeah, because I feel like they're probably locked in to Terra Blast. Maybe they're like Choice Banded? Okay, I'm gonna go Leech Seed on something else. That's great. They did not want to get Thunderclap. Cresselia, that's a perfect thing to Leech Seed. I'll take all your health, thanks. Please show me your Choice Band, ho oh. <laughs> Please don't switch over to a Fire move. Uh, this means they don't have Dozo Geary. Ah, and they are locked in, it looks like. Awesome. Venusaur does not care. And now that I get this Leech Seed up, I could actually go into Bolt and start getting some health back on him. But I think it's kind of pointless at this point. Especially because their last is most likely Ursaluna, so I don't need uh, as much as strongly. Now if they do have Ursaluna in the back, they could bring it in here, because Ho-Oh is useless. So I'm thinking actually throw like Giga Drain into Ho-Oh with like a helping hand. Maybe I can do something more useful with Bayleaf here. Maybe a Body Slam into Cress. Because I'm sure Giga Drain does plenty. I'm Life Orb. If they switch into the bear here, they're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, yeah, show me the bear, show me the bear, show me the bear. Show me the bear. Is that a bear? That's a bear! Let's go! Uh, oh, and a Crest Swap, okay. Oh, did I body slam that? Oh, they're gonna get toxic spikes up. That's annoying. Big damage to the bear. Ah, maybe I should have helping handed. I really should have. Oh well. That's great damage, and they didn't get Trick Room up, so it's not like it matters. Body slam does not quite enough. The only thing that can still get poisoned is Groudon. Maybe I can get Venusaur out at some point to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, I think I go for another Body Slam there just to finish that off. And they would sw if they swap the bear, Weather Ball will punish anything that comes in. Uh, I guess Sludge Bomb would have been fine too, but Weather, weather Ball works. Is weather Ball strong? Yeah, Weather Ball in the Sun is actually stronger than a Stab Sludge Bomb, so no, that's the right call into Ho-Oh and Cresselia. Yeah. I thought they were going to try to set Trick Room and bring the bear in, because it lived. That would have put me in a pretty bad position here if they had just done that. Who did I catch? Probably Cresselia. Can't imagine they just go into Ho-Oh here after they- oh, You saw that I know how to read! You've seen that I can read, and yet you just throw Pokemon at me. Okay. They're still faster than Bailey? Okay, but they got full parrot, so we're alright. Not sure what they were going to try to do there anyway. Well, that puts me in a great position. Uh, especially knowing Ho-Oh is most likely choice. 
Uh, the sun is gone, though. So actually, Venusaur could be slower than Ho-Oh. We probably gotta get Groudon back in. Um, they could Trick Room here. In which case, what do I do about that? Do I have the power to take out Cresselia? Unlikely. Terra Water doesn't help me. I'm gonna take out Ho-Oh. It may not be the best decision in the world, but it's the play I have in front of me. They'll get Trick Room and they'll get their bear in, but I have some strong Pokemon. I don't think they're gonna be able to just like Earthquake take everything out. And either one of Groudon and Venusaur could probably take out their bear. Uh, they could... Protect Lunar Blessing. Oh, they didn't even set Trick Room? What's with that? Wh why aren't you Trick Rooming? Okay. Okay, this, this is looking okay. Uh, I gotta throw a move at each. Like, I can't get away with doubling into Cresselia. Can I? Terra Water on this as well. That doesn't help. Do I think Fire Punch plus Weather Ball takes Crest? Not really. So I want to Fire Punch here. And... Just do some Chip to Crest with Giga Drain. Yeah, they do protect the bear. It's whatever. Yeah, there's no way I was going to do nearly enough damage if that's all Giga Drain can do. But a little more health on Venusaur is nice. Fire Punch gets blocked, and then do you finally set Trick Room? Because then I can double your bear. Yeah, you do set Trick Room. Now, unless you have Ally Switch, which I sure hope not. I can't imagine you going for Ally Switch in this position, though. Could? Would you? Your bear is, like, barely hanging on. <laughs> barely hanging on. You're no, there's no way you're gonna knock us both out. You're gonna need to commit a facade to take out a Groudon. Earthquake might take Venusaur. I wonder if Earthquake plus Psychic can take Groudon. Uh, but I'm just gonna launch both moves into your bear. You don't have Terra. Uh, helping Hand Earthquake. No, Groudon should eat this, and then we can win. I, I sure hope Groudon can eat this. Groudon eats this! Yes! Good job, Groudon. You done it. Now Bayleaf should be able should be able to beat Cresselia, because we don't get poisoned as long as the sun is still up. Uh, which it better be. If the sun's gone, we I think we lose. I think I have enough sun turns though. Yeah, I I only need this. Let's put the big guy on the left. Alrighty. And Leech Seed should win us the game. Now I'm wondering if I Thunderclap or Thunderbolt here. Since Trick Room is up, they might try to hit Bolt. I think I'll go for a Thunderclap. And I really need the Leech Seed. Yeah, they are attacking. That makes sense. Get a little damage. And we're slower than Crest. That's cool. It does not matter, though. Because now we got the Leech Seed. You're not going to beat this Bayleaf. Believe it or not, Bayleaf is going to win this game. Cresselia, you can, you can try as much as you want. You can maybe bring this to Timer with all the Lunar Blessings you have left. One turn of sun, two turns of trick room, none of that really matters. 
I'm gonna body slam because I don't see much point in protect right now. Battle's just canceled. They understand what's going on. Let's go, Bailey. You got them. Let's go. All right, here we go. They've got a sun team of their own, so we're not gonna fight about weather. Uh, but they have Rock Pond, Chiyu Fluttermane, Brute Bonnet, and Raging Bolt. That is very scary. Uh, what can Bayleaf be? Bayleaf is Terra Fire, which helps against everything not named Ogre Pond. And against Ogre Pond, we've got... Oh. Not a whole lot, honestly. Oh, uh, we got Water Terra and Groudon. Um, uh, okay, Ogre Pond's a threat. Ogre Pond is a massive threat. Um, Bayleaf can't do anything to it either. Fluttermane should be good. Fluttermane with the speed boost is excellent. And Groudon's not bad, honestly. Uh, we, we're, we can not handle the grass moves, but that's what the Bayleaf swap in is for. And then finally, is Torkoal any good? There's no Trick Room on their side. Uh, there's no need to reset Sun. No, not going to bring Torkoal to this game. Venusaur or Bolt? Venusaur can actually take a hit from Fluttermane. Both can switch into grass moves. Um, neither is great into Rock Pond. Bolt is kind of better into Koridon, though. And into their Bolt. But Venusaur is immune to Spore. If I had Goggles Bolt, I would probably bring Bolt. But I'm going to bring Venusaur because I'm more afraid of Brute Bonnet. Maybe than I should be? Uh, but what's cool about Bailey? Oh, that's a cute card. Uh, what's cool about Bayleaf is, as long as Sun is up, we're immune to Spore, even if we Terra. Uh, Chiyu Flutterleaf, that's fine. In fact, Fluttermane... Let's see, oh, okay. Chiyu is faster than Groudon, that doesn't mean much. Their Fluttermane's booster energy is in speed, and they activated first. So they're probably the faster Fluttermane. My question is, is this Fluttermane faster than a Scarf Chiyu, if that is what they are? Yes. That's good. So I think we just have to burn Terra here, right away. And do what we can with Gleam. They definitely have enough damage to take out Groudon, so I think we just have to protect Groudon. Because then we'll be able to get into Venusaur, who's not as fast as Booster Flutter, but would be faster than a Scarf Chiyu. Ah, uh, but then we have Icy Wind issues, potentially. But it's what I gotta do. I gotta Gleam, and I'm gonna just protect Groudon. Because Groudon's in trouble. No Terra from their Fluttermane, it looks like. Could this be Icy Wind Heat Wave? That would hurt. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have set Sun right away. Maybe I should have anticipated a lead like this and just left Groudon in the back for when I needed it. It is Icy Wind. Uh, we'll still be faster than Chiyu if it's not Scarf. So this will this is the moment of truth as to whether Chiyu is Scarf or not. They are absolutely Scarfed on Chiyu, but they locked into Dark Pulse. Let's go. We get our Dazzling Gleam. I'm happy. Big damage. Got a little critty in there. All right, Dazzling Gleam, and if you're locked into Dark Pulse, you might throw it at Groudon. I might not care. You might double Flutter. I'm happy to Gleam, and who's your swap into High Horse Power? Brute Bonnet? Ogre Pond? I'm happy to Fire Punch the Chiyu slot just in case they like double Fluttermane with, like, Moonblast. Okay, they're just Icy Winding. Now Fluttermane is definitely way slower. They still Dark Pulse. We take that, though. Awesome. Dazzling Gleam, double KO. Now let's get Fluttermane out of here so that it can sweep up in the late game. Because that was their booster energy... Well, not booster energy. Maybe, maybe booster energy. But Speed Boosting, Fluttermane, and Scarf Chiyu are gone. My Fluttermane should now be the fastest thing in existence, as long as Sun stays up. Which, they're no longer able to set. I might want to swap out both of my Mons. Uh, definitely Koridon coming in. Which is scary. 
and they preserved Terra on it. And Raging Bolt. So they're scared of Groudon, but they're also scared of Fluttermane. I think this could be a Thunderclap and a hit into Groudon of some kind. So I want to get out to Bayleaf and probably just protect Groudon. Or do I want to let Groudon go? I think it might be worth my while to try to throw a horse high horsepower at the Bolt right here. I do think they're probably going to Terrafire their Co-Ride-On, Thunderclap, Flare Blitz. They could also Collision Course Groudon, which I don't know if Collision Course gets the KO. I think a Terra Flare Blitz would, though. And they are going for Terra. You know, you're actually safe from Fluttermane if you Thunderclap. You don't need to burn Terra defensively. So this must be an offensive attack. This must be a Flame Charge or a Flare Blitz. So Groudon's probably going down. Uh, am I still able- Oh, it's Flame Charge! That's not gonna take Groudon! Yeah, that's not taking Groudon! Oh, Bolt's in trouble! Bolt's in big trouble! Oh, you thought with all those Icy Winds you're faster anyway, okay. Boom! Get up! You live. Um. Huh. Well. Awkward. need to get rid of Furion Blitz. They could possibly take out both of my Mons here, and then Thunderclap on Fluttermane is free. So I needed to protect something. Two turns of Sun. I need Groudon to go down, but Bayleaf to not. And I'm gonna switch to Fire Punch on the Bolt. Uh, do they just Flame Charge again? They do just flame charge again. And they try to Draco Meteor. Okay. If I bring in Venusaur, that would force them to Flare Blitz the Venusaur. Yeah, they have to go after Venusaur, because Venusaur can take out their Bolt. Ugh, I don't know how I'm getting through this Koridon, if I'm being honest. But I need to Leech Seed here and protect Venusaur, because they have to go after Venusaur with Flame Charge or Flare Blitz. If, I, if, I, if they let me take out Bolt, they're in trouble, so they have to be targeting Venusaur. With their two speed boosts, they're like, I'm faster, I can take you out. So it's all up to Bayleaf to live a Draco Meteor, is what I'm saying. Come on, Bayleaf! You live this, we win! Maybe. We have a chance, at least. Alright, Bayleaf, let's go. There is a chance we can win this game. Is it a great chance? No. Is it a good chance? Actually, probably not. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how... Mm, because... I need a Body Slam Paralysis. Obviously they would go after Venusaur here. Right? Maybe they wouldn't. I'm gonna attack with Venusaur. I don't expect the Double Protect to work anyway. They're just going for Flame Charge. Which we live! Let's go, Venusaur! Alright, they're trying to make sure Body Slam Paralysis doesn't do anything to him, I guess. Can we get the poison then? No. Alright, we need this Paralysis, Bayleaf. Come on, you can do it. Oh, man. Uh, now the hit into Fluttermane is so free. Got a Leech Seed, and then we're gonna have to Protect Stall them. They could throw and go after Bayleaf here. They did! They went after Bayleaf! Bayleaf, you did it! 
Oh, Specs Shadow Ball definitely takes Koridon from here. Oh, it definitely takes it. Come on. Come on, Flutterman, you got this. Yes, Bayleaf. Yes. <laughs> Woo, that was a really close match. Oh my goodness. And Bayleaf made it possible. Well, yeah, sure. Bayleaf made it possible. Let's go. Good card, too, though. Alright, we've got a Cali Shadow, Rillaboom, Sneasler, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Sableye team. That's weird. Uh. Alright, Chiyu, Fluttermane. That means don't lead Groudon. Uh, is Tor Torkoal might be good here. Are we specially defensive? No, we're offensive. Helping hand you on, Flamethrower. Okay. Uh, I don't want to give them Sun right away. I want to do something else. So I think I want to lead Bolt. Bolt could work. Bolt is pretty good into that whole team as long as we can Terra. And then what's good into Calyrex? Fluttermane is. So put Fluttermane in the back with Groudon. Uh, that makes Bayleaf our lead. By process of elimination, it's not like I'm going to leave Bayleaf. Bayleaf is fine here, honestly. Especially if we Terra the Bayleaf, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, but maybe just like a helping hand late game could be good. Honestly, I like Torkoal better than Bayleaf in this game, but I'm going to bring Bayleaf. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, I anticipate that... Wait, who did I lead? <laughs> Uh, I anticipate that Chiyu Fluttermane might be a mode they go with. Uh, they don't have a trainer card, so something basic like Chiyu Fluttermane makes sense. Just to do some big damage and then have Calyrex clean up. Uh, but no, it's Rillaboom Sneasler mode. Okay. Bolton Bayleaf out here. That's cool, I guess. And you get... which boost do you get for that? defense. Uh, I feel like you might be going for some sort of acrobatics strat. In which case you would want to fake out Bolt and acro the Bailey. I think I'm happy to just Thunderbolt you for now and I mean Bailey might be seen as a non-threat so I think Thunderbolt and Leech Seed because one of us should be able to get to move. Oh you just Dire Claw the Bolt right away. And get asleep. Okay, that's funny. That's hilarious. And high horsepower in the bolt. Yeah, well, thank you for KOing Bolt. He was asleep anyway. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow. That was big damage. Could that be a choice Rillaboom? I wonder. Choice Rillaboom has been picking up a lot. Alright, well. <laughs> Uh, I think I go into Groudon, at least to threaten the uh, Sneasler into tearing or something. And I think I want to go for a Fire Punch on Rillaboom with a Helping Handed boost. Because Rillaboom, if it's Choice Band, it wants to leave. If it's not Choice Band, it wants to wood hammer my Groudon. And so I would like to delete it before it can do that, assuming we're faster, which we don't know. It could go for, like, a Grassy Glide Close Combat double up if they're not banded. We'll see. Helping Hand goes before all other moves, but we see there's no Terra or Swap. They do Dire Claw the Groudon. Fishing for something? A Poison. That's not as bad as Sleep. And we are faster than Rillaboom. Awesome. Goodbye, Rillaboom. Okay. One thing down. But we still haven't baited out Terra. I really wanted to bait out Terra on something so that the Calyrex couldn't do it. Because Calyrex with Terra is scary. Because I want to Shadow Ball it. That was my endgame, is Shadow Ball the Calyrex. Calyrex would be coming out right here. No, it's Sableye. You can't burn my Groudon. What if I want a Swords Dance? Leech Seed the Sableye. Rain Dance. Okay. 
Oh, Groudon and Groudon should probably consider swapping after that. Oh, now Dire Claw can get a status on Bailey. Oh, that's actually bad, because now Fluttermane's not going to be able to get a speed boost if we were to go that route for the end game. But perhaps... Uh, maybe I need to set the sun back up. I could get into Fluttermane. I could protect Groudon and get Fluttermane in on the Bayleaf slot. That seems relatively safe. They might think Groudon would be swapping. And it, it's at plus two, so it should be the target. So I could protect here and bring in Fluttermane. The next turn, get Groudon out into Bayleaf so that it can come back at the right time for Fluttermane to Shadow Ball the Calyrex. But again, if they're not going to Terra, I might just be locking into Dazzling Gleam. I'm hoping that does some sort of damage. But getting all this Leech Seed back on Fluttermane if I get hit is nice. Oh, Encore! Okay, he's out of here. And Dire Claw into Fluttermane. That hurts. That hurts a lot. You gotta think Groudon swapping, though. Oh, how do I position this endgame? I need to get Fluttermane healthy enough while also in the sun. I don't know if Dire Claw would take us from here, so we might be okay. I gotta swap to Bailey. I have to take the double KO, but I cannot afford to Terra. Yeah, that's how I have to. That's how I have to position this. If if they just Dire Claw. And maybe like some double up with Sableye, or if only one of them goes down, oh, we could be in trouble. Okay, it's just Encore. That's fine. And Dire Claw, come on, you gotta live. Yes, good live. No status. Oh, but Sableye does have that Roselli Berry. Okay, this means we can get. Fluttermane out, potentially. Sneezer's are still around. Uh, as long as they're still able to rain dance, there's still a problem. So I can't, like, double Leech Seed the Sableye. Might I need a Paralysis on Calyrex when it does Terra? Because they're absolutely going to Dire Claw the Fluttermane here. There's no way around that. I have to swap Fluttermane into Groudon. And I have to... <sighs> I'm kind of pinned. It, this is going to be a difficult endgame. Especially because Bayleaf can't do anything and risks getting Encored if I click anything that I don't want to click. Sableye Swap. Into Calyrex. Interesting. Dire Claw into Groudon. You can't get any other status other than the poison you already got. Now they're going to get Sableye back in and be able to Rain Dance. Because that's their end game. If they get Rain Up, they're faster than Fluttermane. They just Rain Dance Astral Barrage. Oh, they, they did this well. They played really well. Like This isn't just losing to a horse because horse is that good. This is them playing really well. There's no way to get Groudon off the field and back onto the field. 
because Fluttermane can't take a hit. I need to Leap Seed the Calyrex. Uh, no, I need Groudon to live for some reason and take out Sableye and that no. I need Sableye to for some reason not rain dance. And for Calyrex to not knock me out. But there's no way that's not happening. They're definitely gonna rain dance Astral Barrage. And there's nothing I can do about it. They're gonna get a boost here. They're gonna get a boost next turn, and Bayleaf isn't gonna be able to keep up. Oh, Groudon live. That's cool. But that doesn't get me anything. Because I couldn't have swapped in Fluttermane there. They just positioned better. Hit the Leech Seed at least. Okay, that's good. It's not enough, but it's good. How much did that. That Astral Barrage did not give them a boost. So Bayleaf should be able to take one more. Which means... And they haven't terra yet. Which means my win condition is they let me body slam. Which I have revealed. My win condition is they're scared that they're not going to get this KO from 54 HP. And so they terrastalize. Or, Fluttermane, or if Fluttermane lives when I terrastalize. And then I get a Body Slam para, and then full para them forever. Fluttermane can just live this somehow. That might be a better win condition, honestly. Fluttermane just lives for no reason. Are we at all bulky? Maybe they could be really weak. They didn't KO Groudon. We've got HP investment. I think that's a better win condition. Helping Hand, Terra Fairy, da I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam, because it's stronger if they Terra. Uh, they're not gonna Terra. So Body Slam wasn't the play. Or they're slower than me for some reason, that would make no sense. No, no self-respecting Calyrex should be below 180 in speed. But if we can somehow live this because they're just not strong enough, we've got a shot here. I'm not giving up on you, Bailey. Come on. Come on, both of you, eat this! Come on. Ah, Fluttermane goes down. Okay. That was a long shot anyway. And then Body Slam wouldn't have worked. Because they chose not to Terra, so that was the best play I could have made. Uh, they are leftovers, so Leech Seed is going to take a bajillion turns to kill them. Um, let's see. I would take about 15 Protects in a row. I'm not going to make you sit here and do that. I should go for it, but I'll go and flip the coins, and then I'll let you know uh, what the result of 15 uh, 1 and 3s multiplied together is. It's like 1 in a bajillion, so I'm not even going to go for that win con. Good game. They played that really well. GG. But go, like, go get a trainer card, you know? Alright, we've got a Cali Ice team. Oh, I think I've seen this team before. Uh, Cali Ice, Clefairy... Uh, Blursaluna, Hariyama, Titar, and Among Us. Uh, so they're gonna take control away from Groudon. Uh, but my Torkoal should be slower than their Calyrex if they set up that. It's my best way to stop their Trick Room. I don't think I have a guaranteed way to stop Trick Room, because that should be Focus Ash Clefairy, if I remember correctly. Uh, a strong Dazzling Gleam right away could be cool. Terrifier Bayleaf could be really cool. Don't hate either of those options. Um, I'm gonna put Terra on Bayleaf. I shouldn't bring Bolt. Or really any of this team. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I'd go Fluttermane Groudon. Or Fluttermane Bayleaf? I think I go Fluttermane Bailey. I bring Torkoal in the back. Because that'll be good against their like Amoongus and their Calyrex once they get Trick Room up, which I feel like they'll go for. And then I gotta bring an Ice Weakness. I guess it should be Groudon. Gives me double weather control. Yeah, I think that's the way. 
that feels like the way, I don't know. We'll see. And I have fought this team before. In fact, I have this team on my queue to play, if it is the exact same team. But they don't have a trainer card, so... You know? Alright, oh, it's Calyrex Hariyama! Alright, if this is the team, they have Fake Out, Coaching, Close Combat, Wide Guard! They could just go for a free coaching. Or they could go for wide guard, trying to stop me from Shadow Ball helping handing them. Sorry, stop, trying to stop them me from Dazzling Gleam helping handing them. Uh, but I'm happy to just click Shadow Ball with a helping hand boost. Like, they probably Terra Calyrex to get around that, but I do think wide guard might be their play here. And a helping handed Shadow Ball, it's gonna do a lot to Calyrex. Oh! Oh, they're gonna Terra Hariyama into Steel. Maybe they're gonna go for a Protect Coaching play and they don't wanna get taken out while trying it? Helping Hand goes first anyway. And they just fake out Bailey. Oh! Oh, this is gonna be big damage into Calyrex. Could that KO? Get out of here, Calyrex! Woo! Alright, I don't know why they tried to fake out Bayleaf. Bayleaf was not a threat there. What? Okay. I guess they're like, I don't know what Bayleaf does. I don't want to mess with that. And here's a Tyranitar. A choice ban Tyranitar. Which Groudon can handle pretty easily. I could swap into Groudon. Or I could... The Hariyama doesn't have Protect, but they could have Ursaluna in the back. I think I'm happy to go for a Helping Hand Shadow Ball over there now. Yeah, they don't have Terra on Tyranitar, so Groudon should do well into it. If they have Bear in the back and they swap on this predicted Shadow Ball, good for them. They are not swapping. Okay, so this should do a ton of damage. Because they're not Assault Vest. Hariyama doesn't have great special defense. Are we just going to rip through with another Shadow Ball? No. Took that well. Oh, there goes Bayleaf's Eviolite and Reason for Living. And there's a coaching on the T Tar. Uh oh. That's scary. Alright, uh, I think we need to get Fluttermane out of here. Because Fluttermane is going to be what beats that Tyranitar eventually. Uh, Groudon's no longer, no longer super safe to swap in, so I think I'm actually going to go into Torkoal here. And I think I want to try to Leech Seed the T-Tar, uh, thinking they might go after the Flutter Main slot. Here's a Torkoal! You can knock off my Torkoal, you can take my Bayleaf, neither of those are too scary. Uh, and a Wide Guard. Uh, so you're worried about Dazzling Gleam. Switch up then. Oh, we're faster than T-Tar, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, I guess you are on a hard Trick Room team. That makes sense. And knockoff's just into Torque Hole, so we're- Oh! That hurt. Oh boy. Alright, Bayleaf gets some health back. That's cool. Now presumably they go for Bayleaf and they hit Torque Hole with their Hariyama. Um, if for some reason they don't, I should weave in a Flamethrower here. But I'm just gonna protect Bayleaf. If they want their weather back, they have to swap T-Tar. Uh, if they swap T-Tar and hit Torkoal, then I made a bad play. Hmm. I don't know. I don't I don't know if they'll do that. And I don't know who they have in the back. Is it, is it Clefairy? Amoongus? Uh, okay, they swap Hariyama. So either I get to get a, another Leech Seed, maybe a Flamethrower into your Amoongus, that would be awesome. Go after Bayleaf, please. You're leech seated, so you would think that's who they go after. Yeah, it is! Awesome! Let's go, Torkoal! Who no longer has an item, but should still do okay damage into this thing. Yeah, that's good damage! And a burn! I uh, didn't need that, but thank you! In fact, that makes the yawn game a little more annoying to play, but oh well.
Oh, they probably have Rocky Helmet over there then. Alright. I don't have a Spore Swap in, so they could just Spore Torkoal. I don't have- oh, unless I Terra Grass. Is that where I want to burn my Terra? Predicting them to attack Bayleaf and Spore Torkoal? Fairy Terra could be good too. Water Terra doesn't do much for me. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. Why not? Terra Grass, Flamethrower. And I don't want to go for a double protect, so I'll body slam, try to fish for some hacks on T-Tar. Uh, they swapped the T-Tar, okay. That means unless you have like Sludge Bomb going into Torkoal, I'm guaranteed to take out your Amoongus here. That'd be awesome. If you just go for Spore on Torkoal, that'd be great. I would love to see that. Now I wish I had Flamethrower the other guy. Who has Thick Bat, to be fair, so... I was also considering Yawn into that slot, that would've been fun. Uh, Amoongus just protects. Ah, uh, okay. Can I get a para? No, I cannot, because they're Covert Cloak, of course. Silly Jordy. Of course they're gonna be Covert Cloak. Hariyama actually can't touch a Fluttermane. So I'm thinking, bring in Fluttermane there. And try to finish off this Amoongus with Body Slam. They could fake out Bayleaf. They could close combat Bayleaf, but they would go second. They could coaching the Amoongus? I don't know what that would do. Uh, they might be going for a Pollen Puff to the side, though. That's why I want to take out Amoongus before it can move, which Bayleaf should be able to accomplish. I hope. I hope Bayleaf has enough attack to do five damage to an Amoongus. All right. Body slam, no fake out, and you're gone. And I knew you had Rocky Helmet, but what can I really do about it? Uh, is this a CC and a Torkoal, then? Ha, <laughs> it was. Awesome. That's awesome. Alright, I think Groudon is the way to beat Tyranitar. So I might even give them Fluttermane here. Locking into... I guess Shadow Ball into Hariyama. And if I can, fish for a Body Slam para on Titar. Oh, they didn't Wide Guard! Come on! I wish I had Moon Blast now. Moon Blast would have been great. Then I would have just like gone into Torkoal there and Moon Blasted the Titar, and it would have been game. But let's see what this Body Slam can do. Because Groudon should be able to win this game now. No problem. Yeah, yeah, Bayleaf, let's go. Full para. Nope, rock slide. Choice ban. Dead, dead. No, Fluttermane lives. Okay. Alright, in that case, I go to Groudon. I give you Torkoal on the Fluttermane slot, and then Fluttermane can come back in and Dazzling Gleam later. That's if, like, I miss eight high horse powers in a row, and you eventually beat Groudon with rock slide. Just gotta cover for the worst case scenario. But this should be a forfeit, probably. I'll bring Torkoal in there, and I will just high horsepower until your Tyranitar disappears. Battle is cancelled. That's a dub for the Bayleaf. Let's go. This Bayleaf is doing it. Well, uh, Bayleaf did well, actually. Uh, there were, like, a couple things it couldn't quite touch, like in that game versus Calyrex. But like, otherwise, Bayleaf was taking hits, and it was healing up. Uh, if this thing got like a good move to do consistent damage, or like some priority, or like a redirection, this would be a really good mod, honestly. Uh, go call Game Freak and tell them to give Bayleaf Rage Powder or something. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, do all those sorts of things. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.